Hi everyone, this is Abhinay Johan from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial and I know it's been a long time since I have created the tutorial but from now onwards I will be creating tutorials on regular intervals so today we are going to uh, make a tutorial about how to create volume displacement in Maya as well as in Houdini okay so let's get started quickly so here is my Maya file. In this, we have this head, okay? And this head I have create, I have downloaded from this uh, website, which called 3D Scanner Store. You can also download it from here. It's completely free for personal use and everything. So you can uh, download from here. Now, since we have this uh, model in our Maya, you can uh, create a camera angle, whichever, the way you want to render it but i have created like this sideways and make sure or it depends on your requirement so i'll be using like 1080 by 1080 okay so this is set then let's create a hdri quickly go to arnold lights and sky dome light it's always good to rename your files it's always good to rename your objects in outliner to make it clean okay let's control a go to this parameters attribute editor and go to color and let's connect hdri which is this in my case and just try to render it quickly uh, the setting is fine okay click on Arnold and open render view and uh, in my case I will be not converting my HDRIs to TX so make switch this off if you don't want it let's hit render and nothing is visible why is that so let's check volume attributes okay step size and uh, volume padding there are some values which i have to remove later we will add some now let's render it again and now you can see my model is getting rendered i don't want to see the sdri in background so click on the sdri and uh, go to this visibility option in camera just make it zero now we won't be able to see it okay perfect so uh, basically on this is just a standard material has been applied uh, let's go to hyper shade like this okay but we need to use ai volumes the ai standard volume so this is here let's select this and uh, apply now it's been applied let's check in the interview we won't be able to see anything uh, to see in the interview we have to change the step size let's make it 0 0.1 for now and let's see if we are able to yeah definitely we are able to see the model now next step is <clears throat> let's go to hypershade sorry let's go to hypershade and here we have this ai volume let's rename it to this volume displacement shader volume displace such tr okay here you can see this uh, displacement option just click on this search for ai range connect it in the input select a file node or like this and once you have this file node you can attach 
any map which you would like to use as a volume displacement source okay so i have few uh, textures for that so let me show you there are few maps which i have downloaded from internet okay like this 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 okay so let's connect this uh, go to this all the structure here let me add okay let that, let's add this one okay so this is this has been uh, added to it and let's check if it's working for us arnold point of view let's take a screenshot to compare and click on this and we don't see anything here okay why is that because we have to change another parameter which is volume padding so let's make it uh, 0 0.015 okay let's hit render and few things are visible let's make it 50 okay and one more thing we need to do uh, it's not working because we have to change uh, parameters parameter in the ai range which we have added to the texture okay so this out max value we need to decrease that so the moment we decrease it we will be able to see more details in this so it depends on your camera angle and the look which you want to achieve so in my case uh, Mm, around 0 0.085 value well, should be fine and, and if I reduce the this uh, exposure let's make it 2 yeah so from this to this now you can see the texture is getting uh, projected on this model okay so the next trick which i did i used that was i have created a volume node and in this i am going to plug a vdb explosion okay which you can download from this website that's open openvdb.org they have multiple volumes I have used uh, which one which one I have used the explosion yeah this one so this one I have used so let's plug the that volume VDB explosion VDB and it's connected and here also we will get the step size and volume padding we need to change it for in my case it works around 0 0.050 and uh, same for this 0 0.050 you can scale it according to your requirement of the scene for this i'll be changing some parameters to get the look from like this it should come from his head so quickly i have a uh, place this uh, around the head and let's check the render let's take the screenshot of it and hit render okay uh, it doesn't look like the way it should look why because we haven't applied the shader to it so for this <clears throat> I have created another shader so let's go to hyper shade now AI st standard volume again and we will name it to VDP displays okay now select go to the displacement again range shader AI range and the input we will add a 
AI image or file texture, whatever you need. It's the same thing. Depends on your requirement. Okay, let's connect the image. Okay, so let's connect the image here. And it's connected. And we need to assign to this AI volume. Assign it. And let's check the output. Render, update, full scene. And now you can see some sort of changes here. Like it was this, now we can see this. Correct? But again, it's just looking like a volume, so we need to change some parameters in the AI range. Go to Hypershade. And in Hypershade, uh, we will go to Range. In Range, we need to pump this out max value. Maybe for in this case, it works around 100. So I'll be making it 100. And let's see the change. Yeah, some sort of details are now visible. Okay. So before that, it was looking like this. If I make it one again, so you can see it's looking just like a volume. Okay. Let's take a screenshot. Now let's make it 100. And <clears throat> if I hit render again, so there are some details over here. One more thing we need to add is let's stop the render and go to VDB this place and we need to add this uh, density so we can see the more details. So let's make it 8000 and even for my volume displacement for the model, let's make it 1000. Now we are going, we will hit the render again and there are some details over here correct what i feel is i guess on both uh shaders there are different image let's make the image let's attach the same image to both of them so this is the image control c v okay now the image is same See the difference here. Now render. Yeah. Now it's in a same family. So if I go to render settings, yeah, these are the changes. Okay, that's fine. Now you can see the, the details. Now, if you want to make it colorful, then you need to do just a single, a short, a very quick change. Let's stop this render and go. Let's go to our VDB displacement shader. This A range needs to be connected to the scatter color. So if I do this and if I click here, you can see that now our image is now render is colored because i have applied for the just one shader that's why it's looking like this and if i do the same for the other one let's do this and hit render so this is how it looks okay so like i told you it depends on the camera angle and the way you see in the viewport so let's make this like this change it to perspective and hit render so you can see now it's looking better i guess with the different ang camera angle and all it completes completely depends on your uh, image which you are using for this Okay, so that's how you can achieve and see it's all about playing around with the parameters and the images and the settings of volumes and even uh, this step size 
and uh, volume padding so you need to play with this so get more detail and everything and you can add more uh, volumes to it like i have added the explosion and you can add other kind of uh, simulations as a vdb to achieve a different kind of an abstract kind of look so uh, same in houdini i have created the same kind of output if i go to the interview and hit render just to show you the final output you can see this the volume displacement is working perfectly here so let's escape this and this is the uh, main geometry this is the model which i have uh, imported in the houdini the same head model and first of all if you have added in the houdini you need to go to the arnold parameters in this you will get the shape option and in shape option you will get the volumes in the volumes same thing which i have did in uh, maya the volume step size and the volume padding depends on your model and depends on the look you are achieving you can change it it's completely up to you same i have created the distant light in here not the hdri distant light i have pump up the exposure here and uh, let's go to materials here is a volume shader inside this same arnold volume in this i have added the density of 1000 and i have connected the ai range to its displacement like here you can see here this is disabled i have connected it and in this i have changed the parameters around out, out max value to 0 0.05 and added the texture and depends on whatever you have to you know you know you would like to achieve and same if i uh, scatter color okay so i can do this by adding the scatter color sorry and if i go to this You can see the look it's coming fine for this you need to add some more exposure maybe five it is fine yeah so you can now you can understand how to achieve this uh, volume displacement look in Houdini as well as in uh, Maya. I will attach the same uh, project files to Gatian or any, anywhere. From there you can download it. But I won't be able to give you the model because you can directly download it from uh, the site which I have shared with you. And I will uh, make sure I will put the link in the description. So I hope you uh, like this tutorial. I will be making some more tutorials on volumes and uh, on the uh, flip simulation uh, so just stay connected to the channel and i'll make another one very soon thank you for your time and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video if you really like it and share it with your friends and community thank you so much have a nice day bye bye